Nasolabial folds. You know, these laugh lines. Not so laughable if you're one of those people on a quest to get wrinkle-free skin. Can you really get rid of these? Answers ahead in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, I'm a skincare expert. I'm here to help you get skincare that will work for you, not empty out your wallet and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for on YouTube, please be sure and join my team, Team Chris, and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up each week. And today we are talking about nasolabial folds. In other words, laugh lines. Now these laugh lines are the folds of tissue or the creases that go between the sides of the nose, around the mouth, they curve around the mouth and down to the chin. And they're more noticeable on some people than others. But guess what? There are two types of these folds. In fact, really almost three. There are the nasolabial folds. We just talked about these. Then on some people, there are nasolabial creases, dimples, and then there are what you guys call marionette lines, which are the lines that form at the corners of the mouth and go down to the bottom of the chin. Now, no matter what you call them, a lot of you guys hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them. I get asked about this so often. What can I do? Is there anything I can do short of a facelift or plastic surgery to get rid of these? Now, the first thing to know about these lines or creases or wrinkles, whatever you want to call them, is that they're very, very common and they show up in a lot of us, about half the population, because of genetics, of course, when we're in our adolescent years. So... Yeah, again, very, very common across both men and women. In fact, some of the people that the world considers the most beautiful, celebrated, gorgeous men or women have these as part of the character of their face. So it's not all bad. In fact, it, I think they're beautiful at most people. But again, again, I know people hate them. That said, we can develop these as we get older, they get deeper and more obvious, especially if you've lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight, certainly lifestyle choices like smoking, too much alcohol, not enough rest, obviously sun damage, all can contribute to these. So when it comes to genetics, there's not a whole lot you can do about these unless you want to go for injectables, say like Juvederm. But the good news is there are some techniques and some products that I'm gonna give you today in this video that can help soften and reduce and even prevent these from forming in the first place. Now, these types of wrinkles fall into two categories. The first category is dynamic wrinkles, and those are the smile lines the ring that show up on your face when you smile or show emotion with your face. Those are dynamic wrinkles. They go away when you stop. Static wrinkles, however, are the ones that stay when you stop moving your face, which is the ones that most people have an issue with. These are the type of wrinkles that the techniques and the products that I'm going to talk about today have the most impact on. It's just the ones you want to get rid of anyway. This is where the prevention of these really comes into place through a good, solid skincare routine with good, effective ingredients and of course the use of sunscreen, which we're gonna go over now. First, we wanna make sure that your skincare routine, your daily skincare routine has these three items, vitamin C serum, peptides, and retinol. The application of these on a daily basis can go so far in improving the look of these over time. Now I've done a ton of videos for these on the channel, including this one, and I will link to those videos at the end of this video and down in the video description box, along with the products that I'm going to recommend to you today. Those will all be listed below. The way you find the video description boxes, it's below the videos with a little down arrow on the right side, and you just click that and it opens up and all that information will be available to you. Now, the products that I currently use for these ingredients in my skincare routine, and there are many brands you can choose from, is The Ordinary's Vitamin C 23% Suspension with Hyaluronic Acid. That's my vitamin C serum that I use. I also use the Inky List Peptides, that's this product right here, their collagen booster. Very, very good formulation, tripeptide formulation. And then of course, for my retinol at night, I use the Olay Max version of this, Olay Retinol 24, and those are my three go-tos. Again, I review many different brands on the channel that have these ingredients. It's the ingredients that are really important so you can pick out what's right for you. And I can tell you that these have been a part of my skincare routine for over 20 years, and I turn 57 next Friday. So they really work and have benefited me a lot. 
Now, the other thing to consider, not only for improving these deeper creases and lines, but the overall texture and look of your face, is to make sure that you're using an AHA or alpha hydroxy acid product, glycolic acid, lactic acid. Those are both common that you see in products. I prefer glycolic acid because it seems to work for my skin very well and has for a number of years. The reason this is important is that glycolic acid helps loosen and remove those outer dead skin cells. It's a drier, crusty layer. It's microscopic, kind of can sometimes feel that texture on your skin. Glycolic acid helps break that down and help it slough off so that the new skin, the healthier skin, the more beautiful and youthful skin comes forward. Now, the product that I've been using for this for years, and I talk about them on the channel all the time, is Alpha Skin Care's 14% Glycolic Renewal Serum. Been using this stuff oh, 24 years, I think it is, and they've been around a long time and their products are stable and they deliver really good results and they're inexpensive. And again, I will link to this and the other products down below so you can check them out on your own. The other factor in making sure that deeper lines, wrinkles, creases don't show as much is proper hydration. It's so, so important to keep your skin hydrated and rebuild that moisture barrier layer on the skin to help hold that moisture in and keep your skin plumped out. Now, the product that I most often recommend is this one here. It's Neutrogena's Hydro Boost for Extra Dry Skin. The ingredients that you wanna look for in any of these products is hyaluronic acid, glycerin, dimethicone, and of course, water. The reason for that is we wanna get as much moisture down into the skin and trap it there, and hyaluronic acid can hold a thousand times its molecular weight in moisture. It pulls moisture from the air. The reason that we wanna have it formulated or married with these other ingredients is they help to protect the skin from moisture loss, holding the hyaluronic acid down in the skin layer so that it can pull that moisture in and trap it. Hyaluronic acid on its own can be very drying to the skin if you're in very dry climates if you try to use it alone. So I always recommend a formulation just like this one. Again, many, many brands out there that you can choose from. Just make sure that you are rebuilding that moisture barrier to prevent transdermal moisture or water loss. Super, super important. So now we've talked about preventing and reducing the look of these types of creases and lines. What about removing them all together? Well, of course, there are plastic surgery and medical solutions for this. You can do injectables like Botox, also Juvederm, which is a filler, an artificial filler. There are also hyaluronic acid fillers or injections you can get, which are, I would say, safer, more appropriate for the skin because hyaluronic acid is something that it knows and produces anyway. So this is a very successful way to treat those genetic lines that you want to plump out, or you've gone as far as you can go with topical products and you're just really not happy and you want to improve that look. I think that's absolutely fine. I am not one of these YouTubers that's going to tell you plastic surgery is awful. This is horrible. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You do what makes you feel good about you and you that's all you need to worry about it, not what anybody else thinks. So that is perfectly fine. They do tend to be a little bit expensive. The hyaluronic acid, Juvederm, and Botox all have to be repeated. So that is one thing you want to consider. Now, there is an option if you're like me and you don't like to go under the needle, because I hate needles, and that is the medical grade silicone patches that in the past were used for scarring. I guess they still are used for scarring and plastic surgeries, things like that. These particular patches go on the skin and they actually hydrate from within. So they pull moisture up to the top of the patch and they help flatten out and kind of teach the skin to be flat and firm. It teaches the musculature, the structure, those layers of the skin that have formed those wrinkles to flatten out a bit and to hold that. Now the drawback to these, you got to wear them consistently and you got to do it ongoing. It's not something you're going to be one and done and walk away with or even do it for six or seven weeks. It's something you need to do every night. Now, I've tested these out on the channel. The brand that I've tested was CO, S-I-O. They have patches for wrinkles everywhere from the middle of your chest to the top of your head, your forehead. So I highly recommend you check them out. I, again, will put that down in the video description box as well, but that is a non-invasive way to reduce these and it works. They absolutely do work. Just know that you got to do them for life. So in short, skin renewing ingredients like vitamin C serum, your peptides, your hyaluronic acid, and your retinol all going to go a long way to make your skin look better, including those deep lines and creases. You can also use things like injectables, and you can also use the CO or other brand type medical grade silicone patches to get some really, really good results. And then sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. 
Did I tell you, you need to wear sunscreen. I hope this video today has been helpful for you guys in knowing how to deal with, prevent, reduce, and even get rid of altogether those laugh lines, marionette lines, whatever you want to call them. If it was helpful, please give the video a like and comment below. Let me know what you've tried for these that worked or didn't work because I tell you, everybody would love to know. Also, be sure and check out my videos that are coming up next so that you learn how to perfect your skincare routine for your skin type and get your best skin Ever. I want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. You're amazing. I love you. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on the next video.